Isn't it a lovely day? I do hope you're having a nice summer. Today, I'm making a vegetable salad with aspic. It's not a complicated dish, but it does take time and needs an eye for detail. It'll do nicely for a summer luncheon dish for a ladies' lunch. For this recipe, you will need eggs, mustard, cooked vegetables, carrots, aspic, asparagus, celeriac, quail's eggs, salad oil, white wine vinegar, capers, gherkins and olives, salt and pepper. I'm going to start with the vegetables. I have potato, carrots, celery, green beans and cauliflower. Marianne has neatly and precisely cut the vegetables into slices and small shapes. It's important to keep them consistent so that each mouthful is just right. You could use boiled vegetables from dinner so long as they are still presentable. These I've specially blanched. You don't want to boil them for too long, otherwise they'll fall to pieces. I like to keep them all separate like this, so that my salad will be nice and balanced. But first, I'm going to take out some of these florets and some of the carrots for later. Now, for my mayonnaise, I have two egg yolks. And I'm going to add a little mustard. And salt. Be generous with the salt. After all, salad comes from sal, which is salt. Mayonnaise takes time and patience to make. You need to add the salad oil a little drop at a time. I do like mayonnaise, not just for salads, but also as an accompaniment. And if it's nice and thick, I like to pipe it. Mayonnaise is a French word, but I don't think the recipe is that old. I trained under a French chef and it set me in good standing. There was a French chef here at Audley End House before I arrived, Monsieur Meret. I understand he was very extravagant and didn't know his way around a pudding. As I would like my mayonnaise to set, I'm now going to add some aspic. Aspic is a savoury jelly that can be used to thicken sauces like this or as a garnish. You can buy aspic nowadays from the grocer, although it's a good idea to know how to make your own. We use a good veal stock and calves feet, which are then boiled down and then clarified. A similar way really to making gelatine, although you can buy very good quality gelatine from the grocer. I'm now going to add my vegetables, just a small handful of each. Oh, and my capers and gherkins and olives.
This is a moulded salad, so I'm using my Charlotte mould. But you could use any shape moulder, a conical shape, or even a funnel if you work in an ill-equipped kitchen. It's already been well greased, and in the top I've got a circle of greased paper so the salad will come out. It's sitting in a bowl of ice, and all I need to do now is to add my salad mix. And now that's ready to go into the refrigerator, the ice box. Now that I've turned the salad out, I've put it on a plate and it's sitting on a bowl of ice. It's time to decorate it. Round the outside, I'm going to put some of the asparagus. I shall dip it in some aspic and stick it around the outside. I'm going to keep an eye on the asparagus and if it looks like they might be coming away, I'll just tie a piece of string round the outside to hold them in place until just before we serve. For a salad like this, you wouldn't necessarily need to use the mayonnaise in the middle. You could just use the mould and then attach your vegetables all around the outside. My favourite set mayonnaise are the ones with tomatoes. Now that the asparagus is in place, I'm going to take a little bit of celeriac. Celeriac isn't very common, so it'll add a little bit of exotic taste to this salad. And on the celeriac, I shall place my little crown. And around it, I think, some cauliflower and some of the carrot. You could use one of the other colours of carrots, perhaps white or purple. And now to decorate the plate, I'm going to use some aspic with beef stock, which should catch the light very nicely in the dining room. And now I'm going to add some quail's eggs. And there you are. Vegetable salad with aspic.